in New Hampshire and we found this trail called the Beaver Brook Trail and you basically hike up to a waterfall and eventually to the top of the mountain I believe but we didn't make it up all the way but we made it to the waterfall which was very very beautiful and just brought tranquility and just the sounds of the water and the rocks together and being in nature was very very nice. Let's go camping. We found this. Tell them to bring the whole woods out. Okay. We found this trail that leads to the lake and it's so pretty. I hear my family <laughs> coming. <laughs> We began our road trip to Woodstock, Vermont, and on the way we were able to see this herd of cows, and it was just a really cool sight. And here we are, the first covered bridge we came across. Really cool, and I think it was really neat to learn how they built these bridges to protect the road and it's been around for so long and just the view from the side was really beautiful. We also walked by these cranberry trees. Wait. Is it good? They're sour. And then we went to Woodstock Scoop to get a maple creamy, which I've been wanting to try. It was super good. It tasted like French toast or a cinnamon toast crunch and I would definitely recommend if you like that maple taste. Then we continued to walk around the town a little more and we went to Woodstock Inn, which I've also seen all over Instagram and it was just as cute as in person. It was really beautiful and the flowers and the landscaping were just beautiful as well. Just came across this little creek. We then headed over to Sugarbush Farm, which is a maple and cheese farm. And it was only about 16 minute drive from Woodstock, so it was pretty convenient. And we tried the maple syrup and the cheese samples. It was super good. And we said hi to the animals. Just finished the maple walk at Sugarbush Farm. We are at Shaw's now doing a late night grocery pickup. All right, we are back from the store. Xander's already putting the things away, but we had gotten some ingredients for the breakfast burritos. We got some cheeses from the Sugar Bush Farm and there was a sample of all four, so we're gonna try them. So this is the Jack Cheese one. That was good. These are the crackers we got to eat with the cheese as an option. I'm about to eat the sharp cheddar with it. Good. 
Yep, it works. <laughs> Coming up on the lake. Xander took my mom on a little excursion through the mud because it was raining and it was just a lot of splash zones through the golf cart. And then when he came back, he made us lunch, which were chicken quesadillas and some chips and guac. And then on our way to Salem, we stopped at Duncan for breakfast. And then we have arrived to Salem, Massachusetts, and they had a little festival going on. And we walked around, saw some of the iconic sites, and... It was very crowded because it was the weekend before Halloween and we expected it, but it was cool to see the people dressed up in the streets Right now we are on our way to the house where Max and Danny live in Hocus Pocus and we just saw um, Alice's house just behind the street But yeah, it's a nice walk there not too much people on the street We then ate lunch at Rivalry, this restaurant in Salem, right in downtown. It was super good, like an American sports bar. I got the chicken alfredo, and I liked the decorations inside. Then we came across Scream, walking back to the car. And this is where we end our time with our Airbnb. It was a cozy stay. Yes. <laughs> We are at the lake for one last excursion before we leave our Airbnb and head to Boston, but it's such a beautiful view. I'm just so glad we were able to see this. So pretty, but yeah, we are headed to Boston now. to the airport later that day we stopped in Boston just to explore more than we did the first day and it was a great time looking at famous sites and I tried some apple cider from the Red Apple Farm in the Boston market which was really good and the donuts then we grabbed lunch at Whole Foods and we walked to the Boston Public Library which is one of the things I really wanted to see and these birds are paid actors guys such a beautiful entrance and the architecture is just beautiful and reminded me of Pride and Prejudice and just the lions and the art inside is very spectacular it was very beautiful and the paintings were very intricate and amazing to look at I think it's your turn. Back home. Hey. We're not back home yet. On our way back home. The laid backs.